welcome back to my film and TV channel and we have a BBC drama thriller yes those dreaded words BBC drama thriller yes uh, to look at today just three episodes so it surely can't do too much damage mm, perhaps it will uh, so we're going to have a look at something that's shown over three nights is now available on BBC iPlay it's out to buy very soon as well I'll give you those details before we finish this vlog so we're going to have a look at uh, Crossfire uh, we're going to have a look at today yes um Internet Movie Day Space, do we doing okay? So that was uh, that's nice to see. 6.4 out of 10 based on just 65 reviews as I'm recording this on the 21st of September 2022. So let's have a little bit more in-depth analysis. There's not many critics' reviews on this, so I'll have to be yours truly. You'll have to base it. Well, I'll mention Don Robinson because I usually do anyway. But please, if you are new to the channel, do try and inform and give you these reviews on film and tv of course so i do try and entertain as well where possible with things like this it's yeah i try and entertain because uh I to, sometimes you have to entertain yourself when you're watching certain programs but uh, more on that so please push that subscribe button push the bell notifications please if you haven't got time for that just give us a to uh, comment if you haven't got any time to comment just give us a thumbs up make an old film and tv watcher very very happy and it's always appreciated it's nice to get those thumbs up even Nice to get views, which I do on a lot of BBC stuff, but it's nice to get thumbs up. For me, guys, not not particularly for Crossfire. <laughs> so if you don't like it, please don't just give me a thumbs down because of the because of the series. Right, yeah. So three fifty-five minute episodes. Yeah, so we didn't have to enjoy or suffer very long, depending on which way you look at it. As I said, Internet Movie Day Space rate of six point four out of ten, which with only 65 reviews i always think part of the casting crew have been on and posted scores as well so i don't i don't believe too much at this stage what what that score is i think this will personally stay around the six mark it might drop a little bit and if you take away the 10 out of 10s which are absolute lies and the one out of 10s which again are probably lies you end up with 33 people scored it between six and nine and 14 people scored it between two and five so what I call my, my positivity rating, which is 70%. And what's it about? Well, it's all about Keely Hawks. This Keely Hawks is the main main person. This is the one who, she's the, the lady who, who leads this story with a, a bunch of, some known, some not so well-known actors. And she's sunbathing, her character's sunbathing on a hotel room balcony while on a dream holiday with her family and friends. And Joe, that's her name, is world is turned upside down when shots ring out across the complex. Yeah, gunmen out for revenge have an instant, having an instant turned a slice of paradise into a terrifying, heartbreaking hell. I think I think this is supposed to be on a little island, so there is a question as to how quickly the emergency services responded. I mean, we've seen serious things, haven't we, in America, how long it takes people to mobilise and get into these sort of situations. But uh, probably explains why it's, it appears a little bit slow, a little bit slow on this, especially when you've got a country that obviously has armed police as a, as a normal thing as well. So that's it. There's no real critics, nothing on Rotten Tomatoes, got nothing on Internet Movie Database as far as critics are concerned, apart from Don Robinson. And Don Robinson, uh, bless his soul, DVD fever. He watched one episode and he wasn't very impressed. Yeah, and he probably wouldn't have been very impressed with the second episode. And the third episode, he probably wouldn't have been that impressed with that either. All he did was make little, little quips and jokes about the series, which is disappointing. So I'm going to score this before I tell you any reasoning I've got. I'm just going to score this 5 out of 10. It's not a disaster. It isn't a disaster, but it's it's poor. It's not great. It's okay. It's just, it's just you're going to have to just turn this off and just watch it. I mean, you've got three 55-minute episodes. You probably could have got a decent hour and 20 minutes out of this. And certainly with a few tweaks to background stories, etc., you probably could have got a good, a good uh, thriller, a drama series out of this. But it just wasn't put together very well, in my opinion. And of course, you'd think with the shooting, with the shooting at a holiday resort, obviously you think back to the horror, horror things at Turkey. What was now six years ago? It doesn't seem that long ago, does it? But it's nothing to do with terrorism. This it's just a. Uh, a couple of disgruntled, certainly one elder disgruntled young man, and one who seems to get dragged along with it, plus another one who's a sort of accomplice. Um, so it's often nothing to do as such with terrorism or Muslims or Christians or whoever. It's nothing to do with that. It's just basically um, two or three young men 
who uh, obviously have got got a grudge. Do we ever perhaps learn p- properly what the grudge is? Not really, I don't think, unless I missed it, um, which is a bit disappointing. We wouldn't mind a bit of background to that grudge. But, uh, yeah, as I say, it's nothing, not the terrorist link, forget all that. They've not turned over that like a stone, uh, so they've not done that with it. So, I mean, being kind, there is a, a mix of what we call B-list. I call, if you, want, if you have B-movies, you have B, B, B-list actors, don't you? That's what this mainly contains. Keely Hawks is probably the big name uh, who I like, don't get me wrong, but on her own with a sort of mishmash of actors around us, some familiar, some not, of pretty mixed uh, quality, uh, it is a struggle. She makes valiant attempts to carry this. It never really works. She's an ex-police woman. She looks nothing like an ex-police woman. I mean, she's getting... I mean, I know I know. she's 46. She's 46 in real life. And I think they get Keely trying to play slightly younger roles. Not not too young. I mean, she looks very lovely, lovely for her age. Don't get me wrong. But I think they try and get her to play mid-30s up to 40 roles. And, you know, she she's a very, very well put together young lady but, but uh, yeah she is struggling a little bit and that's what I think we are struggling for that sort of actor so I think she gets these sort of jobs because we don't have many uh, ladies of that talent who can do that sort of thing anyway I digress that's personally say she does a valiant attempt but doesn't quite rescue it I mean if you look at the episodes independently I don't want to give any spoilers away in this guys I mean episode one was okay um, it's, although despite the, the, the plot, uh, as you can imagine, I mean, the shooting starts very quickly in the series. You don't, there's no big build up to this. We get the build up through flashbacks, which is, is how it works. So you get to find out the family dynamics, etc., through flashbacks, which again are sort of half hearted for me in three episodes. And yeah, it seems too long. Uh, we don't really get any real depth to it. So for, the, for such a plot, it does the tension. There is a lack of tension. I think that's because perhaps you don't know the characters too well. Either, of course, we don't want innocent people to get killed, but obviously, uh, it just doesn't. There's no real build up to it, so it's so there is a lack of tension in all this. You don't see much of the gunman initially, he's, he's, you know, it's trying to create an atmosphere by not showing them, but it, again, it doesn't quite work. And as I said, to break this up, we do get start to get flashbacks to see whether we like the people or not. Uh, and of course, you, you're wondering by episode one whether anyone's actually rang the police uh, as things are going on. That's the first thing that, that comes to mind. By episode two, two of course, uh, eventually you do see, see some policemen, but not particularly at the hotel. But again, there's a little, very little tension in this episode, early doors, but it does eventually progress. And we do finally get to see a police helicopter, for instance. Uh, as I said, it is on an island, so they have to they have to they have to mobilise, don't they? I think that's the word. And at least uh, Keely Hawks, although she's not convincing in a role um, of, of saviour, uh, does try and help pe- save people's lives in the hotel. But again, it all does lack a little bit of tension for me. And by episode three, when the tension ramps up, it's sort of over and finished before it's even started. It, it's just such a a letdown, and then we, we sort of skirt back to the family drama side of it, which there is. There's little subplots and affairs and things going on in the background that are only sort of released to us as the series is going on. So episode three is very much like that, and she's obviously a hero, this uh, Keely. I'm not giving too much away. She obviously will survive this, guys. I'll tell you that as a spoiler. Uh, certainly survives up to partway through episode three anyway. And she becomes obviously a, a hero at home for, for her actions uh, at the holiday centre. But obviously she, she struggles to cope with that. So you do get the family dynamics. You do get the personal dynamics again and the problems, men, mental issues, etc. Psychological that you'd expect from this sort of thing. But as I said, in three episodes, it probably could have done it an hour and 20 minutes. And yet there's probably enough plot and story there to actually get six, seven good episodes out of this. If it's done right. And obviously budgetary constraints. Probably, probably had a big effect, but I'm sorry, it's just a little bit, little bit of a letdown for me. So that's why I'm only giving it a five out of ten, which is a little bit, a little bit less than Internet Movie Database at the moment. There's just not any real um for me in the situation. Some of the things are a bit silly. I'm not, as I say, I don't want to go give you spoilers, but there's a couple of things you think, what the hell are they doing? You know, even even normal people in certain circumstances you wouldn't do what they did. And, that moves the story along, but again, you've got that believability in these things. Just poor writing, I thought, generally. Poor acting, apart from certain cats, so certain actors, i.e. Keely Hawks, who does the best. 
uh, and it doesn't lack any real depth in a story. So BBC, I'm sorry, I usually try and stick up where I can for you. As I said, if you totally turn your brain off and just have it on in the background, it's okay, but nothing. But it's such a serious subject, uh, a very, very poor, it came over very poor to me. I just I just thought it was very weak. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what you think of uh, of the story. And they say it could have been a lot more powerful than it was. And uh, let me know your thoughts on, on the series if you get to watch it. But a lot of people I know sort of give up after after episode one. So they won't be watching episode two and three. There's quite a few I've looked at that already done that and just thought well I might watch two but I doubt it or I've watched one I can't imagine episodes two or three getting much better and for the most part we're probably right thanks for watching guys please until we meet again unless one thing you don't want please stay safe everyone bye for now